Hi guys, in today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what messages are coming up for you. This reading is for those of you who need it most, for those of you who feel like there's resonance here in the messages. Um, it is going to be a general reading. If you're after a personal one, feel free to reach out and inquire. Otherwise, let's go ahead and let's take a look and see what messages are coming up for you for this time. At the bottom of the deck, you've got the temperance, and below that, you've got the tower. Um, you're being reminded right now uh, that you need to be patient with where you are, okay? Things might not be as you want them to be. Things may not have gone according to plan. In fact, there may have been a tower moment that has collapsed a lot of things around you this is um this is especially for those of you who feel like things have fallen apart for you in so many ways like you may have had friendships and uh, relationships collapsed you may have had plans collapsed you may have had the rug pulled from underneath you recently okay you are being asked to be patient things come to us Things come to us at the right time, okay? And sometimes in life you have to go through you have to go through the worst to get to the best. And this is what's happening. Okay. Uh maybe the path isn't necessarily clear for you. Maybe you don't know where it is that you should be going. Maybe you don't know what it is that you should be doing. You know, you've had some plans and they didn't work out, and now you feel like you're a little lost, you're a little confused, you're not sure which direction to take. You have to be patient, you have to persevere, and you have to be able to see um, where things lead. Because for a lot of you, you're on your you're on the path to success. You however, you may not see it from this vantage point. And this vantage point is, you know, a tower moment. That has crumbled and collapsed a lot of things around you um, everything is coming to you at the right time so you have to be patient with the process there is no such thing as overnight success some of you i can see you're working on building a better version of yourself and as part of that you have to i'm sensing that someone here is really like alienating or isolating themselves um, you're purposely putting yourself in a position where you might even purposely have put yourself in a place where I just it's like there's really minimal distractions so for example maybe you've moved to an area where you sort of might have moved away from family or friends or you moved into a house that you may it may appear like you've downgraded a little bit but I, to me the way I'm interpreting it is that you have minimal distraction you have a lot less distractions around you because you're super focused Okay, you're working, you could be working on, you know, building a better and more authentic version of yourself. Some of you, I feel like you're working on an idea, on a project. Okay, it could be just a seed right now that's germinating in the ground. But you are, it's like you're investing a lot of time and a lot of your energy and a lot of effort into this. Um, to lose patience would be you losing the battle. Okay, and there's, there is some sort of battle um some sort of battle happening here but to lose patience would be losing the battle so just be patient and understanding with yourself and with your current circumstances uh, 
and I can see that there is someone here guys I can see that there is someone here around you who has I feel like they've they've acted in a way they've behaved in a way that has hurt you they've behaved in a way that maybe has left you feeling really hurt disappointed reject rejected or even abandoned life is too short to be malicious life is too short to be vengeful okay so if you're out there thinking about taking revenge or how to get back at this person you know or how to get even steven here remember that re success is the best revenge so focus on working on yourself because you do have someone around you here who i feel like may be jealous i feel like this person might be jealous of the potential that you have they may also be jealous of the dreams and the goals that you have okay like maybe you've been doing um a little bit of uh traveling lately and maybe this is something this person has always wanted to do and because they weren't able to accomplish that in their life they are now projecting their shortcomings okay onto you um maybe you've achieved or you know you're working on achieving some sort of personal accomplishment or personal milestone and maybe this is reflective of the type of achievement that they've always wanted to succeed at and because they fell short of this and you are you know you're on the path to success you're doing something that they've always wanted to do that they feel a sense of jealousy towards you so i do feel like there is someone around you who maybe they don't want to see you succeed okay and maybe they don't necessarily see you succeed i feel like when it comes to this person they're jealous not only are they jealous of what you have but they're also jealous of who you are the type of person that you're becoming and i think it's something that they've always like it's the type of person that they've always wanted to become but weren't able to but like but weren't able to okay so this person is remember that this person is jealous because they think that you're doing better than them okay so if you're out there don't short your chain don't shortchange yourself by thinking of ways to get back at them or thinking of ways to make them more jealous okay remember success is the best revenge so just focus on yourself right now um and you know what the other thing is whoever this person is because i can see that this is someone who like you've put a distance between you and this person because i think you were able to recognize that there something about their energy is disturbing yours okay they've been mentally exhausting to deal with they've been very argumentative or disruptive there's just been a lot of conflict and i think the last conversation that you had with them was it was a little uncomfortable is it was a little awkward but just remember that people can also be jealous of you not only what you have materialistically right but also how you love others how you show up for yourself how you show up for others you know how you love yourself how you love others so they could also be jealous of the way that you handle a situation okay or the way that you approach things um and i think there's someone here who and it, in a way it feels like yeah they're jealous to see you stand tall they're jealous to see you have your head high they're jealous because they can't get past the fact that you're doing well okay you're you're doing well you're showing up for yourselves in ways they never could some of you it's like you're disappearing there are people around you who think you're disappearing or you've disappeared okay maybe you have ghosted someone recently um maybe this is someone who has ghosted you i think I think you need this time i honestly feel like you need this time of solitude i feel like you need this time on your own right now especially if you what you have gone through has been very turbulent okay especially if you've had plans and you've had intentions for your future 
and then all of a sudden all of this collapsed i think you need the time now to to reflect you need the time now to work hard in silence and some of these people are taking it personally around you okay they could be family members they could be friends colleagues like they feel like you're snobbing them or they feel like you've just you're acting really distant maybe you're acting a little bit strange you're not fully yourself they're personalizing it i don't think it's really that personal i think it's you wanting to work hard in silence i think it's you wanting to work on yourself um but I do see that there are certain people around you who who feel like you, you're either ghosting them or who feel like you're not necessarily the same person. And it's like you've gone from being this really open person, this really friendly person to, you know, to always being there for your family and friends. And I'm not saying that the friendly part of you has changed, but I do feel like People have noticed that you have disappeared or that you have pulled away or that you have distanced yourself from them. Okay. Um, there are some people, and in particular, these are the type of people who aren't, if they don't understand that you need the time to yourself, if they don't understand that you need the time and the space to yourself, these are the type of people that aren't interested in your success. Okay. So pay close attention to who those people are. Um, I think a lot of you, I feel like a lot of you have stopped sharing. Like this is, this is what I'm picking up very strongly. You've stopped sharing your goals or your plans with other people. Okay. Because you know that there is certain, there's a certain person or there are certain people around you who love gossip, who love gossip. And instead of celebrating success, they're gossiping about you. Okay. Um, Here's the thing, most people don't really care about your success, they don't. What they want to be able to tell is a story, a story about you. And sometimes the story that they tell about you is a story that fits their narrative. It isn't necessarily a version of a story that happened, it's a story that fits their narrative. And you have someone around you who is not telling your story the way that it's happening or the way it really happened they're telling your story so they're telling stories about you they could be gossiping about you that it's like they're talking about you behind your back and they're telling a story about you where it's it, it suits their narrative it suits their narrative and it doesn't necessarily reflect the true narrative You do have, you need to remove or you need to cut some people from your life. It's especially anyone that disturbs your energy. Okay. Because I feel like you're focusing now on engineering your life, engineering your life the way that you want it to go. And I think you need this time. I get it. I feel like you need this time alone. You need the time to think. Some of you are completely interested in rebuilding your life. Okay. Because whatever collapsed, it didn't work out. You might have made some mistakes. Um, you might have took some risks and they didn't pay off, but you know that success means persistence. You, you can stop now, but that would be failing. You know that successful people fail, but they keep going and you get that. So this is why a lot of you are like rebuilding. I feel like it's like, I see something complete, like there's lots of papers or there's lots of stuff on the floor. Um, and you're looking, it could be a blueprint that you're seeing, but you're looking at rebuilding your life. You're looking at rebuilding your story, right? And I get that you need minimal distraction as possible. Like some of you are eliminating decision fatigue by wearing pretty much the same thing every day because, you know, it, it's less mental fatigue, right? It means you have to think less and you spend more time on important decisions. So I get all of that, but there are people around you who it disturbs them. It disturbs their energy that you're working so hard on yourself. They feel like you're ghosting them. They feel like you're not paying attention to them. And that's the thing. This Whoever this person is, they want a version of you that shows up in their life that best suits them. Okay? Not a version of you that is the happiest or most authentic version of you. 
they want the version of you that best suits them again pay close attention to who this person is because this person could be a lot closer than you think it doesn't have to be an enemy it could be a family member it could be a friend it could be a work colleague i feel like this person is a lot closer than you think but you are on your way to success i feel like you're um it's it's going to take you time to get there but you can decide you know depending on how soon you start working on whatever this is you can decide how long it's going to take you to finish that project how long it's going to take you to get started will you start today will you start tomorrow will you start when you have time if you're too busy now like will you start will you stop with the excuses and start like it's up to you you don't realize how much you don't realize just how much of your success lies within your control honestly it really does um, and yes, there are certain people that I think you're going to have to, certain conversations, certain people that you're going to have to cut out from your life. Maybe not entirely, maybe not permanently, but at least for this time in your life. And you know who I'm talking to. Whoever this person is, you know exactly who you are. This video might not be for everyone, okay? But for those of you that know, that can relate, for those of you who find resonance in this message, you know who it is that you are. And there are certain people you will have to eliminate or at least certain distractions you have to eliminate and that means sometimes going back to a drawing board that means sometimes going back to basics um because there's some there's certain people in your life who you have spent a lot of your energy fighting these people fighting with them fighting against their opinions um clashing with them um in the energy that you have given to this person, the energy that you have given to this situation has taken away from your hard work, from your perseverance, from your efforts. Okay, you, uh, I feel like there's, there's a victory here in sight for you. There's something here that you're going to be really good at. There's something here that you're going to get really good at. Um, in fact, so much so that people will not be able to ignore your success okay and it is going to make certain people jealous it's going to make certain people even distance themselves away from you why because their success is going to remind you of their failure it's going to remind you of how much they wanted to succeed maybe in a certain in certain areas that you, you know you're succeeding at and it's going to be a constant reminder of how much they failed or just how much they didn't try hard enough and they won't be able to stand being around you or the feelings that that generates for them and so they will distance themselves away from you remember the right people are going to show up in your life and the right people will stay in your life it doesn't matter whether it's sunshine or doesn't matter whether it's you know storm clouds and towel moments the right people will stay with you you just have to be patient sometimes the universe removes people and situations from our lives because it no longer serves us we're not able to see that sometimes we are uh, unable to see that for ourselves but the universe is able to see that and will then remove these people we just have to trust we have to trust the process and if there's any if there are any people that have whether momentarily or permanently distanced themselves from your life whether they've ghosted you or whether you felt like they've rejected and they've abandoned you and removed themselves from you just understand that the universe has worked through these people okay they may be a distraction to you they may be hindering your success in one way or another so for those of you that are spending some time on your own um working on yourself working on your success story right the wrong ones won't understand or they'll interpret it differently they'll interpret it as that hindering their narrative that hindering their story but the right ones will understand exactly what you're doing and why you're doing it and they'll support you and they'll give you the time and the space so watch closely who those people are okay and just remember if you take away anything from the reading it's to be patient with your process to be patient with your story and to be patient with yourself and sometimes you have to go through the worst to get to the best and this is what's happening here all right, guys, and I'm going to leave it at that. And uh, I just want to remind you all to keep shining your light. Bye for now.